Before calculating the surface area of this rectangular prism, let's identify the faces that are congruent to each other. If you take a look at this rectangle right here, and this rectangle right here, we can clearly see that they are the same size. In math, we say that things with the same shape and the same size are congruent to each other. And we can see that the dimensions of this rectangle up here are 2 by 5. So what I'm going to do below is write those dimensions, 2 by 5 or 2 times 5. So we know that this rectangle here has an area of 10, which means this rectangle, which is congruent to it, also must have an area of 10 square centimeters. And because we have two sets of rectangles with the dimensions that are 2 by 5, we are going to write a number 2 on the outside of this set of parentheses. This just means we have two rectangles with the dimensions that are 2 by 5. And if we multiply 2 times 5, which is 10, and then double that, that would give us a total of 20 square centimeters so far. But that is the sum of the area of these two faces. Now, let's move on to two other rectangles that are congruent to each other. We can see that this rectangle right here and this rectangle right here are congruent to each other. So we are going to have to add the area of those two rectangles to what we already have below. So after what we already wrote, we are going to write a plus sign and then the number 2 because we have two rectangles with the dimensions of, well, we can see that one of the dimensions is going to be 3 centimeters. We just have to figure out what the length of this part of our rectangle is. Now notice that this line right here is 2 centimeters. And if we were to take this net and fold it into its three-dimensional figure, the top of this rectangle would match up with the top of this rectangle here. So if this is a length of 2, this must also be a length of 2. So I'm going to write a 2 here. So we would say that the dimensions of this rectangle are 2 by 3. And of course, we have two of them with the dimensions that are 2 by 3. And that is why we write a 2 on the outside of the parentheses to signify that we have two sets that are 2 by 3. And now for the dimensions of our last two rectangles. We can see that this rectangle right here is equivalent or congruent to the area of this rectangle here. Now what we have to do is identify what the dimensions are of each of these two rectangles. Well, let's figure out what the distance is from here to here. We can see that the length of this rectangle is 3 centimeters, and we can clearly see that the length of this line and the length of this line must be the same, so I am going to label that 3. Now let's figure out what the length of this rectangle is from this point all the way to this point. Because this rectangle is congruent to this rectangle, that means that the distance from this point to this point must be the same from this point to this point. And we can see that the distance from this point to this point is 5 centimeters because this line right above it is equal in length. So if this line is 5, that means that this line here must be 5. Therefore, this line must be 5. So the dimensions of this rectangle are 3 by 5, which gives us a total of 15 square centimeters. So down below, we are going to write two sets of rectangles with the dimensions that are 3 by 5. So because this is 15, this must be 15. And because this small rectangle here has an area of 6, this must have an area of 6. So down below, you should notice that each of the dimensions inside the rectangle is used exactly twice. Notice that the dimension of 2 was used twice inside the parentheses, that our number 3 was used exactly twice inside the parentheses, and the number 5 was used exactly twice inside the parentheses. And when you are setting up an equation to figure out what the surface area of a rectangular prism is, this will always be true if the three dimensions are three different numbers. Now, if you have a square somewhere involved, then you are going to have a number that's used four times instead of two times.
Now we are going to solve our expression until we come up with one number in the end. We can simplify this a little further and say we have two rectangles with an area of 10, plus we have two rectangles that have an area of 6 square centimeters, plus we have two rectangles with an area of 15 square centimeters. So if we double 10, that's 20. And if we double 6, that is 12. And if we double 15, that is 30. And if we add this all together, we would say that this rectangular prism has a surface area that is equal to 62 square centimeters.